Welcome back guys, we're in Lake Sentience now, we made it across the border and we're feeling really good but little Twyla isn't. Our first stop in Lake Sentience is to the vet. She's not feeling too well, I think she's eating something naughty that she shouldn't have eaten um, and that's what happens when you're in caravan parks with dogs. People throw things on the ground and the dogs eat them. Um, so she's in there getting two needles, poor little baby and um, we're just going to keep an eye on her and uh, try to take it easy a bit in Lake Centrum with her. And that's it. So now we are off after this to start explore, exploring Lake Centrum and see what we can get up to with Twyla in Lake Centrum. Our first stops is always the information center. We've come down, they're very helpful. We've got our maps, we've got our leaflets, we're gonna have a read, and then we're gonna head out and check some of these sites out. So if you're driving up from Melbourne, um, as you drive into Lake Sentrance, you come down a hill. On top of that hill is a lookout, and you can actually see that's the entrance right there. There's a lot of trees covering it, but that's the entrance from the ocean into the lakes, hence Lake Sentrance. So there it is. Um, yeah, and you can come up here and all the way around. You've got beautiful views. Check that out. That looks amazing. Um, so yeah, come up here, check it out. It doesn't cost anything, and that's our first proper stop. Now we're going to head down and visit a few other points along the way. Welcome to Lake Tyres. This place is absolutely beautiful. Behind me, you've got the surf and the beach. In front of me, you've got the lake. Normally, at some part time of the year, normally this would break through. I don't know how long it's been since it's broken through to the ocean. But when we were younger, we used to come here every year, see it break through, and we'd swim around here or on the other side, on the surf side. Um, they've also got a pub here that does meals as well, which is called, I think, the Water Wheel Hotel. Um, so yeah, if you come down to Lake Tyres, you can check them out. They've got a beautiful view from their deck. Um, you can get food, drinks, the works. So yeah, definitely come down, check it out. Hopefully it's open. I don't think it's open today for some reason. So we were hoping to get a meal here, but it looks like we'll be eating in our van. But with this view, who really cares? In this picture it's showing you how it breaks through well, after it gets lots and lots of rain it can fill right up and break through to the ocean. Well, I found a bigger track to go down to get to the beach side of Lake Tyres um, so I'm going to head across there now and go check out the ocean. And 
now we're on the surf side of it. Check it out, these waters are beautiful. If it was only a little bit hotter, I might think about going in. So part of Twyla's little visit to the vet, she has to eat chicken, um, what is it like, uh, steamed chicken? Just, just steamed chicken. Yeah, Not steamed steam chi chicken. Oh, boiled chicken and rice. So Adam is doing that. And look, look how interesting, I bet you when we put it under her, under her face, she won't go nowhere near it. But anyway, so that's what Adam's doing and Twyla's watching. So I thought why Adam is feeding Twyla and she's eating the food, which is really good. 
um, I'll show you around the caravan park that we're staying at. As you can see, they've got it all. They've got pool, they've got good clean toilets, they've got um, a great camp kitchen with everything you need. And did I also tell you, they love animals. Besides us having our dog here and other people having the dogs here, they have rabbits. And not just rabbits, they have a horse. Well, I think it's a horse. It could be a pony, but anyway, I'll let you judge. But check this out. I can't believe, I don't think I've ever been to a caravan park where they had a horse or a pony. Anyway, check it out. Our turn for dinner. Twyla, you've had yours. Just out taking Twyla for a walk. One thing with Lake Centrance, if it's not school holidays, and even on school holidays, everything closes early. So most things close by eight, including restaurants. Um, so if you're a late eater like us, forget it. Anyway, we're just going around seeing what is open. There's a couple of pizza shops, fish and chip shops. But otherwise, when it comes to restaurants, not too much. Well, good morning. We're about to head out to some wineries. While well, we're hoping we can get into them, I hope they let Miss Twyla come. But um, I thought I'd quickly show you how we pack up our van when we leave, because a lot of people always say to us, "Oh, does it take forever?" It literally takes minutes. I'll go through the list of things we have to do. Twyla, stop eating the corn. First, we pull out the power and roll it up. Secondly, we've got our antenna on top that needs to be wound down, which is done. So we're all good. Any towels that are drying. Hello. When we're not using our outdoor table, we put the outdoor table here and on the front seat and we put the uh, Twyla's table here as well. So we just got to go strap that in the back. Now that's all strapped in. Last check that all the cupboard doors have been locked. Push the back blinds back and peg them. And that's it. And it is as simple as that. We are packed up and ready to go out for the day. And I'm looking forward, that, forward to that wine. But one thing that does take a while, and look, this can be a big problem, is Adam and his showers and getting ready. <sighs> Two minutes to pack up the van, 10 hours to get Adam ready. Hmm. We headed out to the Tambo Winery, but it was closed, which is a bit of a shame. But that's okay, we found a little pub on the side of the road next to the Tambo River, and we're just going to have a drink here. Stopped off before we go to the winery for lunch, this jetty here. Um, is one of the fantastic places to fish. Don't tell anyone. Shh. It's really good. Not that me and Adam are into fishing. Um, and this is located on the way as you're driving in before you go down the big windy hill coming from Melbourne into Lake Entrance. There's a turn off there where the hotel is and you come down and it's here. It's really beautiful. Let's go have a look at it.
can very easily hire boats in Lakes Entrance and they're easy to drive. Not that I've done it myself. I normally get my brother to do that when we're down here. But here, if you come down to this jetty, there's actually a path and you can walk right around. You can feel like you're away from everything. It's amazing. These guys are just fishing up here and it's just beautiful. Look at this water. Clear, then blue. What else do you need? Just got to the winery, about to go in. There's plenty of parking here. The van fitted perfect. Um, and it's really not far from the middle of Lake Centrance, which is awesome. So now we're going to go to a tasting and enjoy a meal. So because of COVID, our well, COVID, they're now doing tastings like this, which I don't mind at all. So they're going to go and see what wines we've picked for our tasting, so we know what we're having, and then it's numbered on your plaque in order of that, so you know what you're having. And then you can order a big glass if you want one. But how's how nice is this? And one of the my favourite wines from here. Back in the day, was their booby yellow wine. If you ever come here, the only thing is, is I've got a feeling it's been a long time since I've tasted it. And I've got a feeling it's a very sweet wine, which I'm not really into now. So let's try that one now. Booby yellow number. Oh, it's number one. All right, here it is. So let's have a taste. Ooh, no, I still love it. Beautiful. All right, now it's time to try the other three. We just finished at the winery, the food was fantastic, loved it, the wine was absolutely amazing, it was hard to choose one, but our winner was the Booby Yalla, we ended up getting this, um, and just a little bit of the info, um, all the artwork in this video is done by the owner's wife, um, she does all the painting and for the labels, check them out, um, how awesome is that? Anyway. So, yep, Bubiel one. So try that when you're down here at Lakes Entrance. And, um, yeah, definitely come up and visit the winery because they do some awesome food. And the outdoor seating is so good. And as you'll see in the video too, so many dogs. There was dogs everywhere. So it was really cute. Twyla had a play. Plus, um, we got to see all these amazing dogs. All right, well, we better get going. Head back to the jetty to go for a walk, to walk off some of that food. We just ate for the winery, it was unbelievable. So if you remember before we went to the winery, we came down here and I showed you that big long walk. Hopefully, we'll manage to get that whole walk done. And uh, that should uh, help with burning off some of the calories from all that food we just had. Yeah, 
If you're looking for a cruise to do, um, just went past, um, was the Thunderbird that you can actually get tickets for and um, it takes you all along the lakes and it gives you a bit of a tour. So anyway, that's something else you can do, but we're not doing that. We're going to get on to this walk. Last day in Lakes Entrance, so we thought we'd come for a walk, grab ourselves a coffee. We tried, um, I think it's called Cheeky Monkey, and uh, yeah, then we're heading home today. So, our last walk in Lakes Entrance. So our last stop today, before we're heading home, is this place, Off The Wharf Fish Shop. You can buy fresh fish caught today. They fill it, they cut it, and you buy it fresh here. They're famous for their flathead tail. You've got to get that if they've got it in. Um, Adam's going in now to go get it. Now, I personally don't eat seafood, but Adam doesn't mind it, especially if, you know, not really fishy flavored fish. So, flathead tails are perfect. Anyway, you've got to stop here. It's on the way out. You just go across to the island. As you're leaving Lake Central to go back to Victoria and you'll find this shop. Just Google it and you know where it is. All right, well, it's time to go home. One thing I always do on the way back to Melbourne from Lake Centrance is stop at Green. It's amazing. There's plenty of seating, there's parking across the road. They bake fresh every day and their pies are awesome. Anyway, so we're going across the road now, grab ourselves a pie and stopping and have some tea before we're travelling the rest of the journey. We're finally home after three weeks. That was so much fun. Three weeks through New South Wales, also going to Lake Centrance and a few other random places along the way. It has been so much fun. We've so if you want to support us on this and um, see plenty more videos, please go down at the bottom, like, subscribe, and tell everyone about us. And also I've linked all the episodes as you can see on my TV, all these different episodes, there's been seven episodes all up of this trip, six of the New South Wales and one of Lakes Entrance. So they're all gonna be linked down below this video. So go down there, watch the ones you haven't seen, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as we've enjoyed our holiday. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Ciao.